Okay, this is the exhaust on a 1997 Virago 1100. Okay, this is the one we're going to work on today. We'll pull it outside and we'll get started. Okay, this is what it sounds like with the stock exhaust. Go ahead, Cam, give it a little gas. Pretty quiet. Yep, go ahead. And I'm going to see what happens after we uh, do this job. Okay, we're going to start with an inch and a half hole saw, 38 millimeter. Okay, you can put that on an arbor. You can take out the pilot bit if you want. You're not going to need it. But I don't think it's going to get in the way, so we're going to use it on this application. Okay, go ahead. Smoking. Huh? Smoking hot. Okay, now we drilled it out. I'm just going to take our needle nose. I have needle nose vice grips here so I don't lose it. Looks like it's already falling inside here a little. Let's tighten those up a little bit. Yeah, this looks like it's going to be easier to get out than, than I anticipated. I started the bike first. Let the pipes warm up so that the metal where this slips in they can expand and contract whatever is going to make it easier I don't know but we're out with the first one Okay, this is the reason I had a hard time drilling. There was still a piece of this, uh, I don't know, stainless baffle in here. So I pried it out, and now it's like the top. Uh, you have this place where the, the hole saw is going to sit in there and make it a lot easier. So there was originally tips on here. That my brother drilled them off for me before I had never even seen them before he delivered the bike. And. So we got them both off, now I'm going to drill out the second one, it should look just like the top. Okay, now they're both drilled out, pulled out. Now, uh, that's basically it for gutting it, but uh, I want to clean this up. So I'm going to get a wire brush on a drill. Uh, I'm going to clean that up, maybe fill those holes. And then uh, I'll show you the inserts I got for it as well. Okay, I fitted the drill with a brass brush. Uh, actually, you can get a whole pack of them, different sizes like this. Uh, well, I got these from Harbor Freight for $3.99. But uh, that's what I'm going to use to brush these up a little bit.
Okay, now they're cleaned up pretty good, but I got those holes from the rivets in there. I got some uh, stove pipe cement for furnaces. Black. Let's put English over here. I'm going to take them. I'm going to just fill in those holes because I'm going to end up painting that flat black inside before I put in the chrome inserts. Okay, I puttied those holes up with this uh, stove pipe cement and I taped it up so I got some uh, high heat flat black uh, temperature paint. I'm just going to paint those, uh, clean that, make that a little cleaner. Okay, while well, that paint's drying, this is what I picked up uh, Home Depot or Lowe's or something from uh, the plumbing department. It's inch and a half. I think they call it a tailpiece or something. Uh, tailpiece slip. I'm not a plumber. But uh, that's what it looks like. It's got a little flange on one half and it's an inch and a half. These are too long to put back in my exhaust, so uh, I think I'm going to cut them to about an inch and a half, maybe two inches. I'm going to go cut them with a bandsaw and I'll be right back. Okay, so that's uh, the flanges in. Okay, I just pushed them in. I thought I was videoing, but I wasn't. But they went in pretty snug, and when I push them in, they're snug. If if it's too loose, then you might have to use some of that cement. If it's too tight, just get a little Dremel, open up a little until you don't want to open up too much. It, that was snug pushing in, and you know I can't pull it out with my finger very easily. I mean, it's not moving at all, but. So that's how I'm going to leave it. I'm going to tape it and uh, we're almost done. Okay. That's the finished product. It actually looks better than it did before. I think. And, uh, you know, I did this. I think those two chrome inserts were about eight bucks for both of them. And you do have to buy two hole saws. I went through two hole saws drilling that out. So, besides that, uh, not pretty uh, pretty cheap modification. Now I'll take it back outside so we get the we can uh, hear it. Uh, same place I was running before. Okay, I don't have my helper this time, so uh, I'll try to do this myself. back here so that's the modification done took me in total probably about two hours it probably shouldn't take that long but I took about 40 minutes to go to the hardware store to buy a second hole saw so all right, uh, hope it's helpful and happy riding.